Welcome to this course on databases, where we will focus on relational databases, particularly MySQL, SQLite, and PostgreSQL. This course aims to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of database concepts, usage, and management. Introduction to Databases What is a database? Before we delve into databases, it's important to understand the concept of data. Data is any information that is useful and needs to be stored and retrieved whenever required. Examples of data include names, addresses, email addresses, health records, and various other types of information. Why do we need databases? While data can be stored on computers using file systems, these methods have significant limitations. Cumbersomeness. For large amounts of data, manual recording, e.g. on paper, is inefficient. Accuracy. Accurate storage of multimedia data such as images, audio, and video is challenging. Security. File systems are insecure unless data is encrypted, which complicates access management. Duplication and syncing. Maintaining consistent data across an organization is difficult without a centralized system. Benefits of databases. Databases provide a centralized and structured way to store data. They offer various features such as security controls to manage who can access or modify data. Data integrity to ensure consistent and accurate data storage. Efficient data retrieval, manipulation, and management. Types of databases. Hierarchical databases. These are rarely used today. Relational databases. Examples include MySQL, SQLite, and PostgreSQL, which are the focus of this course. Network databases. Similar to graph databases, where entities are interconnected. Database management systems. DBMs. A DBMS is a suite of software that manages databases and provides the tools needed to interact with and manipulate data according to defined rules. In our focus on relational databases, popular DBMSs include MySQL, SQLite, PostgreSQL, and Oracle. While these systems share similarities, they also have distinct functionalities and capabilities for handling different data types and operations. Structured Query Language SQL Relational databases use SQL, structured query language, to manage and manipulate data. SQL provides a standardized way to retrieve, update, and manipulate data within a database. Think of SQL as a tool similar to a file explorer on a computer, which allows you to interact with and organize data without directly manipulating the hardware. In summary, this course will guide you through the foundational concepts of relational databases, explore how they function, and equip you with the skills to effectively use SQL to interact with relational database management systems.